Introducing Pokemon Link Dimension, a brand new Pokemon Fakemon region that is inspired by all things Zelda and Hyrule. Created by Bill Suart, who you can find on Instagram and YouTube, this region may already look familiar to you, and so will the protagonist Link, who will be your character as you explore Hyrule. Let's first pick your starter Pokemon. The grass starter is called Decute, and I think this looks amazing. Obviously based on a Deku scrub, but I love the coloring in this as well. It looks really, really cool. It evolves into Desuke, which is, looks like it's doing a Naruto run, which is very cool. Looking a bit angry and of course looking a bit grown up now. And then finally into Dexciple, which is a grass and dark type Pokemon. This looks really, really cool. Obviously we've got our Deku Nut, but now it's also crossed with Disciple as well. It has four arms with like leaf daggers, which I think looks really, really nice. Our fire starter is Gorlit, which is based on a Goron, but it's also got lit in the name as well because as you can see that little part on the top of its head, it's like a lit fuse. Gorlit evolves into Gorox, which looks like it's got boxing gloves, so that's why it's got rocks and box in its name. It makes it look like a tail as well. It's got the shell, it's got the boxing gloves, but it's like it got a fire mohawk too. And then finally evolves into Gorkano, which is combining your Goron with a volcano as well. Really, really cool. It is a fire and rock type Pokemon. I love the volcano with the magma coming off it, the smoke around the top of it as well. And then our water starter is Zorel, which is combining Zora and Propel because this is obviously a very, very good swimmer. Really nice. It's got big ears. It's got fins and legs and it's got a horn on its head too. Evolves into Zarene, which is definitely looking very feminine, but it's pretty cool. I do like the little gemstones on it and of course that horn as well. And then finally into Blizzora, combining Blizzard and Zora together. Really, really cool. Massive frozen arms. Really long back of the head as well. Looks very nice. And that is actually a water and ice type now. So we which starter are you going to pick? I'm going to choose the grass starter deck cute because I absolutely love it. But which one are you going to pick? As you pick your starter and you move out into the world into Route 1, you're going to encounter the fighting type Lycub. Now, this is based on a Lynel, which is really, really cool. I love it. It's looking like a little cub, so it's going to get much, much bigger. As it evolves into Champleon, which obviously has the name Champion in it as well. Massive, massive paws on it. Really long hair as well. And then finally evolves into Centaurum, which has the word Centaur in it. It's got its four legs now, as well as those massive claws. It's got horns. It's got a mane. Next, the Route 1 bug is a spider. Spider called Spidal. This actually has the same skull on the back of it as Duskull. So that's why it's got Dull in its name, Dusk and Duskull. But it's a very, very cute looking spider. I like this one a lot. Evolves into Cofoon. So think of it kind of like your Caterpie evolving into Metapod. This is the Metapod version. We've got Cofoon here. Looks like it's covered in spider silk and wrapped up kind of like a mummy as well. And then lastly, it evolves into Skelter guys. Really cool looking spider. Has that massive skull to make the abdomen on the spider. Obviously based on the skull spiders in Legends of Zelda as well. And this is actually bug and ghost type now, so it's getting the ghost typing to it as well. Our root one bird is called Chiquito, which is based on the Rito, and it's like a little chick at the moment, but it is going to get much bigger. But this is a normal and flying type. Evolves into Falcot, which now becomes an electric and flying type. Kind of reminds me of Falco, actually, especially with like the big yellow beak and the, and the blue look on it as well. But then finally, it evolves into Rival. So sounds like the word Rival, which is really cool. Looking like an angry electric bird. I do love that. It looks very fierce the beak on it the parts that are coming off the back of its head now that we're through route one you may have noticed that the typings are actually a little bit different in this region some of them are just changed a little bit so for example i was talking about a ghost type before but it was actually called the phantom type now some of these i think are pretty self-explanatory like sky is flying and desert is ground some are a bit trickier so for reference throughout the entire rest of the video high rule is normal type time is psychic type twilight is dark type malice is poison type and spirit is fairy type. All the others, I think you'll be able to work out. Next, we're going into some of the swords that you can get. So we've got obviously our goddess sword here, looking really, really cool. Looking a lot like a Honage, but obviously the colors are different. It evolves into Master End, which is now based on the Master Sword. Of course, have to have a Master Sword in this kind of region. It's also got the Triforce on it as well. And then lastly, we have our shield version. We've got AG Shield, obviously based on the Hylian Shield, which looks really, really cool. It almost looks like it's got a face here with the eyes and the ears and stuff to it. And then next, I'm going to show you our Yamask. So in the Hyrulean region, we're going to have a Hyrulean Pokemon. This is the Hyrulean Yamask, which looks a lot like a Yamask, but obviously the main difference is that it has Majora's Mask on the end of it, which looks fantastic. I absolutely love this. So this is a Phantom and Time type Pokemon, essentially Dark and Psychic type Pokemon. But this time it evolves into Majorigus, obviously instead of Kofirigus. Majorigus, very cool. Has got Majora's Mask right in the middle there, but then obviously has those ghostly spirits as arms. Um, next, we have our Hyrulean Pony 
meets up, which looks just like Epona. I absolutely love that. And then evolves into our Hyrulean Rapidash. Obviously a bit bigger of a version, but the really cool thing in the Hyrule region is that there's a third evolution to this, which is called Phantasma, which is based off a of Gerudo Steed. Definitely looks a bit more scary or creepy now. It's got a massive tail, but it's got almost like skeletons or bones down its back. It's got massive horns on the front, a skull over its face. Our next Hyrulean form is Hyrulean Hoot Hoot, obviously based off Kapora Gabora, our main owl. So that looks really, really cool. But it doesn't evolve into Noctowl in this region. It evolves into Infinitrix, which is very, very cool. Looks like an upgraded version of Noctowl, in my opinion. It's really glowing as well, which is really nice. And actually, if you could turn the face upside down, it still looks like a face as well. But those parts that are underneath it are actually meant to mimic parts of a clock as well, which fits in so perfectly with this Pokemon. Hyrulean Ghastly looks quite different, which I think is nice. Doesn't look as much of a ghost now, but does look like it has a skull in its face. Evolves into our Hyrulean Haunter. Very nice. Does look mainly like a Haunter, except it does have bones in the claws, but some people are going to be really upset. There is no Gengar in this region. Haunter actually evolves into Stellantum, a completely different ghost one. It's still ghost and poison type, but as you can see, it's a ghost, but combined with a skeleton as well. You can see the ribs, the bones throughout its tail, its claws. Next is Hat P, which is, of course, based off the P hats. Now, this has got the massive flower on the top of it, but lots of spiky thorns around the bottom of it as well. It evolves into Florage, which looks very, very cool. Looks kind of angry, but this Pokemon you can actually use to grab onto and then climb the sides of cliffs. So think of Legends Arceus when you're using your Pokemon to assist you navigate the world. That's what Florage can be used for as well within this region. And this one is a grass and flying type Pokemon. Next is Rablu, which is based off of Bloopy, which is very, very cute. I do love this. I love the coloring in this as well. The light blue contrasting with like the autumnal kind of colors. And then we have Pixie, which is obviously based on a fairy. Very cute, very cute. That evolves into Navi. See, obviously based on Navi, we all love our Navi. Now, obviously we're gonna hear, hey, listen, whenever we're using this Pokemon, that is its cry. <gasps> In the forest, you're going to see lots of Aziwis, which is obviously based on Ezlo. I love its massive beak that it's got, but it also looks like it can camouflage as well with that very big bushy look on its body. And you can imagine this Pokemon being very cheeky. Aziwi then evolves into Minoslow, which is a grass and fairy type Pokemon. This is based off our herons and it looks just like it. I love the wings and the tail and the facial features in it as well. Next, we have Zonai, which is based on a Zanai construct, but this is really cool looking like a massive eye in the middle of it as well. Evolves into to Zonite, which is based on the soldier. It's got its arms now. It's definitely growing up a little bit, getting a bit stronger. And then finally, it's going to evolve into Zonagon, which is based on the draconic Zonai structure. Awesome look here, how it's got that massive arm with like a dragon head on it, blowing fire. It has three eyes on the top of it as well. Really matches the description really, really well. Really strong Pokemon. This is a rock and dragon type as well, which is a cool combo. Next, we have a baby Pokemon, which is called Piggle, which is a pig goblin based Pokemon. This has has a really cool evolution. First of all, it evolves into Showtime, which I think is a really cool name, who has a stick and a rock and is looking kind of evil there. Now, the reason I think say this is cool is because Showtime has a three-way split evolution that you can evolve it. The first option is Bokog, the Bokoblin Pokemon, which looks very, very cool. I love the purple eyes in this and the massive claws that it has. The second option is Mobog, which is the Moblin Pokemon. Massive, spiky ball bomb thing for its arm. Has that massive horn as well and the huge blue tongue. And then lastly is Hinog, which is the Hinox Pokemon. Massive spiky shoulder blades up there. Big dude looking really, really cool. All of these are a fighting type. So similar in one way, but also very, very different in terms of its designs. Snatchit is a rat Pokemon that is actually a thief. And as you can see, it's got a rupee there that it's holding as well. It is a normal type, really cool design. Looks kind of evil, big tooth. It evolves into Blast Chew, which is obviously based on a bomb chew. It's got a massive bomb that it's holding there as well. Also has like the end of a wick that's on fire at the end of its tail there, which I think looks really nice as well. That is a normal and fire type now. Baba Yiga is a fighting type Pokemon, but it's very cool because it's kind of like Ditto is that when you encounter it, it disguises itself as a random Pokemon and it only becomes a Baba Yiga once you attack it or it attacks you. It changes from the type that it's disguised itself as into this and you can actually see what its true form is. Hyrulean Unknown now looks quite different. Obviously the coloring is very different as well, but this is based on a Sheikah symbol. It is a normal type Pokemon, but 
Sheikah symbol looks just like that, so that's really cool. Next is Shiverpede, which looks a lot like a Sizzlepede, but this time it is an Ice and Bug type Pokemon. So obviously it looks very frozen, has the frozen spikes on it as well. And then evolves into Sensor Frost. Again, looks kind of like a Sensor Scotch, but this is based on Colgara. Very, very cool how it's sort of merged the two ideas of Colgara and Sensor Scorch together. Got the spikes and like the snowflake on the tail and as well on the face as well. Sponchu is a water type Pokemon that is based off the Choo Choo's. Still has that completely derpy face, which I really, really love. The eyes are bulging out, going all crazy. And then our Pika clone is Bomachu, which is an electric and fire type this time. Kind of half looks like a Pikachu. I can see why it's a clone there, but it's based off the Bomchu's. Again, like we had a similar Bomchu reference before, this one, it has a fire on the end of its tail that looks like a fuse that's going to blow up. We have our Deku Nut Pokemon in our grass starter, but we need a little bit more, I feel. So here we have our Great Deku Sprout Pokemon, a grass type, which looks just like the Sproutling of the Great Deku Tree. And of course, it has to evolve into our Great Deku Tree here. This is the Kuzula, looks just like it. I love it. Massive tree. It's got like the facial features of the Great Deku Tree as well. That same expression. Hyrulean Skidoo actually looks quite different to a regular Skiddo. Only in the antlers though. The rest of the body is very similar, but the antlers match the goats that are of course in Zelda as well, looking like a big circle on their head. I do love as well that the shiny version looks just like a regular Skiddo, but this time it doesn't evolve into Go Goat. We have a new Pokemon called Ram Rush. So you can see similar, I guess, to Go Goat, but it is a new Pokemon. Those horns have gone full circle over there. Massive bashing kind of Pokemon, which looks really, really cool. It is a normal and rock type now, but the coloring is really intense. Again, obviously based on our goats that are in Zelda, of course, looking a little bit different this time though, looking a bit bigger. Hyrulean Slowpoke, I think looks really cool. It's actually just a normal type Pokemon now, but I think it's supposed to look like Link. It's got that green outfit on and it's got the points it is as well, which I think is really, really cool. But the evolutions for Hyrulean Slowpoke are different to what you're probably used to. The first one is Domizant, which looks completely different. Almost just looks like the shell side of Slowbro, but it is based off the shell blade. Obviously has the big spikes on it as well. The eyes look kind of cool, but it's got that massive spiky tongue as well. And then finally, Domizant evolves into Slow Serper, which looks fantastic. I love the big points it had based on Zant. The coloring matches it really well. It's interesting how it's got a big purple gem in the middle of it as well. That is a dark and poison type Pokemon here. Twilink is our grass and dark type Pokemon. Looks like a cute doggo. I really like this and it's got a chain attached to it as well, but of course that is broken off. And I really like the interesting markings on this, but the color scheme matches really, really nicely. It evolves into Chain Knight. Bigger wolf now, still our dark and our grass type, but I really love the tail in this. The tail almost kind of looks like a night sky with stars scattered across it. Next is Octoshot, which is a water type Pokemon, which is based off an Octorok. This is actually a pre-evolution to Octillery. You can see it looks kind of like a pre-evolution to Octillery. I'm not surprised there. Next, we have Wizzy, which is a normal and fairy type, which looks very cute. I like this. It kind of reminds me of a Shy Guy, but it's based off a Wizrobe from Breath of the Wild. Of course, this one is probably going to give you nightmares. This one is Hand Dead, which is, of course, based off the dead hands that are in the Ocarina of Time. This is a ghost type Pokemon. Very, very creepy. I think the artist did a fantastic job on this one. And then Spikel is based off our Helmet Swords that's in Twilight Princess. These are a pure steel type Pokemon, but kind of looks like a tortoise, but it's got a big horn and it's got a big spiky shell on it as well. It looks kind of friendly, but does look very dangerous. Our Hyrulean Lunatone, of course, looks just like the moon from Majora's Mask. Really cool idea to have Lunatone mixed with the moon there. It's got the same kind of expression, the same eyes. This is really nice. It is a rock and psychic type or a stone and time type Pokemon. Time obviously works really well for this region. Of course, works well with this Pokemon as well. There are some starters that have Hyrulean forms as well. Starting with our Hyrulean Torchic, which is just a normal type actually. Of course, based on a Cuckoo. Evolves into our Hyrulean Combuscan, which has that massive scar on its eye, which looks really cool. And then of course, our Hyrulean Blaziken. Looks really, really cool. Definitely looks like a fighting type. It is a normal type, so unfortunately we don't have that fire anymore, but looks very, very aggressive. Compared of course to our Hyrulean Mudkip, which is now based on a River Zora. Looks very angry, has those massive fangs in its mouth as well, which is really nice. Here's our River Zora there. Marshtomp actually picks up the fire typing as well, so it's a water and fire type, which is really cool. You can see it's got flames coming out of its cheeks there as well, but still has those massive fins. And then lastly, our Swampert. Definitely got lots of fire coming out of it, especially on its cheeks there, but also like in its elbows and its knees as well. And then lastly here, we have our Hyrulean Trico, which is actually a dragon type. This is of course based on the Lizelfos, evolving into our Grover, which has an arm similar to the Lizelfos I just showed you, and a big spiky 
tail as well. Looking very aggressive. This has now become a dragon and steel type. And then lastly, we've got our Sceptile. Kind of looks similar to the Grovile, but just more advanced in its features. You know, the arm and the tail especially. Getting bigger, getting stronger, but very, very cool look there. This Hyrulean Dunsparce, I think, looks amazing as well. Based on a Fire Snake, looks quite different to Dunsparce, I would say. Gives a really cool touch to it. I love how it's got like a fiery mane coming out and it's got horns on it as well. And next we have our Hyrulean Marwile, which looks really cool. This is based on a Bubba Serpent, but I think it's awesome having that massive plant-like look to it with the teeth and the tongue coming off. And even like the spiky thorns on the Marwile as well. This is of course a grass and poison type now. Very different to the original Marwile, but this is a really nice look. Now this Pokemon I'm going to show you is called Makoyaki, and this is based on a Mokturok, of course, but also has Takoyaki in as well, Japanese fruit with Octopus. Now this Pokemon, as of making this video, does not have an evolution yet, but it may evolve in the future. So this is the perfect time to point you in the direction of Bill Suard on Instagram. Check them out for all the further updates. They also have insanely well done videos on their YouTube as well, where it goes through the storylines and starts to go through some of the Pokemon as well for this region. So make sure you check them out. The information will be down in the description for you to follow and to subscribe over there. But also to make sure you subscribe to my channel as well. Of course, if you like fake one in general or any other Pokemon videos, subscribe to my channel because I do lots of Pokemon content. Now, Makuyaki is a water and poison type Pokemon, but it does look kind of creepy in it. I think especially like those cracks around the eyes and the eyes itself look very, very creepy. The next one that will evolve eventually, but not just yet, is Grubdo, which is based on a Gibzu. Just looks like a bug at the moment, but it is going to evolve into a Gibzo Queen, which is going to be an awesome final evolution. And then last is a Rocknid, which is based on a Marbled Goma. Again, another one that's going to evolve in the future that will have an absolutely sick evolution as the end. Our Hyrulean Eevee looks very, very nice. I love the forestry kind of look it's got to it, especially in the coloring, but there's a lot of new evolutions in this region. First is Dominion, which is a time Pokemon, which is essentially a psychic Pokemon, but it's different to Espion, of course. This has definitely got a different kind of coloring. I love the markings that's on it, but that tail is a huge feature as well. Alternatively, you've got Venturion, which is a normal type evolution, so it evolves from the Eevee into a normal type still Venturion. Kind of looks like the Eevee, the Hyrulean Eevee, I would say. We've got Drachion, which is our Draconic or our Dragon typing. Rainbow Prisms are sort of scattered throughout this along its body. It's got like uh, spikes on it and the tail as well. Looks really, really nice. And I love like the horn and like the fiery eyebrows, I guess, on this Pokemon as well. Looks really cool. Next is our Twileon, which is a Twilight Pokemon or our Dark Pokemon, but again, different to Umbreon. Really cool markings on it that you'd see, of course, playing Zelda, you're going to see some of these markings in Breath of the Wild and stuff like that. Haunteon is our Phantom or our Ghost type Pokemon based on like that ghostly lantern as well. You can see within the tail for sure. But as well as in the body, it's like very spiky. Sort of matches that same shape as well. And then Loftion is our sky or our flying type Pokemon. I love the bright yellow eyes in this. And of course, because it's like a flying type, we've got a big feather as a tail, which is a really cool touch. And then our last evolution is our Barbarian, which is a battle or a fighting type. And it specifically matches our Link's outfit when he's looking like a Barbarian. The colors, the design very, very closely matches, which is really, really cool. So out of all those, which one are you going to choose for your Eevee to evolve? Into. Now, in the Hyrule region, the gyms actually look different. Instead of beating gym trainers and then the gym leader, you have to defeat the temple and then you verse the boss of the temple. So the boss of one of our temples is Volvalgia, obviously based off Volvalgia. The name stays the same. This is a dragon and fire type Pokemon, which looks absolutely amazing. I love the big mask that it's got over its head and I love the fire coming off its head as well. Another one is Staloid. Of course, the name stays the same from its boss name in The Legend of Zelda. This is a dark and ground type Pokemon. It has massive claws, looking a lot like a skeleton, of course, with the ribcage, as well as the sand coming out of it as well. And the third one I will show you is Fyrus, which is a giant of a Pokemon. It's got those flames. It's got those massive chains coming off it as well. And this is a dark and fire type. Next, I'm going to show you four legendaries from the region. Now, these are not the main legendaries. They are coming in the future, but these four legendaries you would have seen before, but this is the version in Hyrule. These are all based off spirits. Now, first of all, we have the Ordon Spirit. Pokemon Xerneas. Really cool coloring on it. Of course, all of these are going to have the same coloring. The orb for the spirits is within the antlers for Xerneas here, which I think is a really, really cool idea. Next is our Zeraora, who's holding that orb in its hands with a massive tail swinging around it as well. That is the Faron spirit. The orb this time for Rayquaza is in its mouth. It's got like a big collar around it as well with spikes on it, which is really, really nice. Of course, that is the Lanaru spirit. And then our last one is the Elden spirit, which is our Lugia 
holding that ball or that orb in its claws there. Massive, massive wings, massive tail, which looks really, really cool as well. And that is up to date with the Hyrule region, but there is lots more still to come in the future. My favorites in this region were Jakut, the Grass Starter, Hyrulean, your mask, Skulltergeist, and Ramrush. I thought they were all amazing. Let me know down in the comments what your favorites were in this region too. Make sure to subscribe for more Pokemon content and to get the updates when they come out. And make sure to check out my other Fakemon regions as well in this playlist. Cheers.